Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Farkhanda Sophie and I have been one of you a few years back and today I'm about to complete my MBBS from one of the reputed medical colleges in the country. I'm here to guide you for your NEET and your board exams. I have the series of short videos on my channel where I try to explain a bit difficult topics to you in an easier and fun manner. So give them a try and check them out. So our today's video will be based on mechanism of urine formation. It will be an exclusive video on the mechanism of urine formation and not the concentration of it. So, first of all, let's study about mechanism of urine formation. See, basic mechanism of urine formation involves three steps. The first one is glomerular filtration. The second one is reabsorption. And the third is the secretion. Okay. So, what is glomerular filtration? Grossly, if I tell you, glomerular filtration occurs when blood flows through a series of capillaries and a filtrate is formed. Okay. Then, from that filtrate, either some substances will be reabsorbed back, which is called reabsorption, or some substances will be added to that filtrate. That is called secretion in order to form urine. Okay. So, let's get started with first step, that is the glomerular filtration. Now, for the glomerular filtration, you will have to study a bit about the structure of the glomerulus. Okay. So, what is a glomerulus? A glomerulus is nothing but a tuft of capillaries. This tuft of capillaries which starts with the afferent arteriole and ends with the efferent arteriole okay so no confusions here it is a tuft of capillaries starts from efferent arteriole and ends at the efferent arteriole okay now these tuft of capillaries what is so special about these capillaries is that they form the filtration membrane for the blood through which the blood gets filtered. So no other organ in the body has this structure of capillaries that kidneys have because ultimately only kidneys have to filter the blood. Now this is the Bowman's capsule. Okay, this is the Bowman's capsule and this space is the Bowman's space. Okay, so now the microscopic structure of this glomerulus looks like this. See these cells which have gaps between them are known as podocytes or foot processes they have spaces between them okay after this layer comes a layer of basement membrane okay so this is the basement membrane and then come these capillaries the endothelial cells of the capillaries which also have spaces between them and thus the blood gets filtered through these spaces okay and these spaces are called filtration slits okay they are known as filtration slits okay so through this slit the blood gets filtered now 1100 to 1200 ml of blood okay 1100 to 1200 ml of blood is filtered per minute by the kidneys okay so this you have to remember this is a question now while the blood is passing through these filtration slits or pores, okay, almost all of the constituents of the blood pass through these slits except proteins, okay. So, the proteins do not pass through these slits. So, you cannot see protein in the urine in a normal individual, okay. This is important. And because almost all of the constituents can pass, this filtration is known as ultrafiltration, Okay, it is known as ultrafiltration, right? Now, as I told you, the amount of blood that is filtered is 1100 to 1200 ml. But how much is the amount of filtrate that is formed per minute? So, the amount of filtrate formed per minute is 125 ml. 125 ml per minute is the filtrate formed. Okay. And this is the GFR, that is glomerular filtration rate. So, if they ask you what is a GFR in a normal individual, you'll say 120 to 125 ml per minute is the GFR in a normal individual. Okay. Now, the next step in the formation of urine is reabsorption. Okay. So, as we just said, the GFR, that is glomerular filtration rate per minute, is 120 or 125 ml per minute. But the amount of urine that is passed is almost 1.5 liters per day. 
right so this is just 120 ml per minute that means 99 percent of the fill rate has to be reabsorbed right so how does this reabsorption occur now look first of all we'll talk about pct then loop of henle and then dct and then the collecting duct okay now look in the pct almost 70 to 80 percent of the electrolytes and all of the essential nutrients are absorbed that is the glucose amino acids and all electrolytes almost all of the electrolytes are reabsorbed okay now in the loop of henle there is minimum reabsorption okay again we divide the loop of henle into descending limb and ascending limb right so the descending limb is permeable to water so the water is reabsorbed and the ascending limb is impermeable to water but permeable to solutes so salts like nacl is reabsorbed but minimum reabsorption occurs at the level of loop of henle okay now let's talk about dct now in the dct some selective reabsorption of sodium occurs okay and bicarbonates are also reabsorbed in the dct now dct secretes some ions also i'll talk about them in the secretion part right now we are just concerned about the reabsorption part okay and finally the collecting duct in the collecting duct maximum amount of water is reabsorbed and the urine is concentrated okay so this is the function of reabsorption in different parts of the nephron now talking about the third and the last part that is the secretion now the most important ions that are secreted into the urine that have to be excreted are hydrogen ions and potassium ions and ammonium ions okay so these are the ions which have to be secreted in into the filtrate in order to be passed with the urine and this function is mostly done in the dct okay this happens mostly in the distal convoluted tubule so this is the mechanism of urine formation this is how urine is formed then is a very important concept of concentration of urine which we'll talk in the next video now some important questions that have been asked are the pale yellow color of the urine is due to it is due to a pigment known as urochrome okay this has been asked many many times Eurochrome is responsible for the pale yellow color of urine. How is the Eurochrome formed? It is formed in the blood due to hemoglobin reduction. Okay, it is formed from HP. You don't have to remember that. You just have to know the name of this pigment. Another question is, what is the pH of urine? The pH of urine is 6, almost 6. The specific gravity of urine has been asked. 1.01 to 1.05 is the specific gravity of urine these are all questions that have been asked and you need to know this also a bit about high threshold low threshold a threshold and variable threshold what are high threshold low threshold a threshold and variable threshold substances high threshold substances are which are highly reabsorbed like glucose glucose should not be present in the urine amino acids should not be present in the urine so they are highly reabsorbed low threshold substances are which are less reabsorbed okay for example urea why would the kidney absorb urea it only absorbs urea to make the medullary interstitium hypertonic i will talk to you about that in the next video you just have to know that urea is very less absorbed so it is known as low threshold substance a threshold substances are those substances which are not reabsorbed at all that is sulfates inulin etc they are not reabsorbed and the variable threshold substances are which are reabsorbed as per the demand of the body for example water like if the body is in a state of dehydration water will be reabsorbed more and more if it is in a state of overhydration less water will be reabsorbed okay so these are some definitions and the final definition is diuretics what are diuretic substances 
डायूरेटिक सब्सटेंसेस आर दो सब्सटेंसेस व्हिच इंक्रीज यूरिन फॉर्मेशन ओके व्हिच इंक्रीज यूरिन फॉर्मेशन फॉर एग्जांपल टी कॉफी एंड अल्कोहल दीज आर द सब्सटेंसेस व्हिच इंक्रीज यूरिन फॉर्मेशन एंड आर नोन एज डायूरेटिक्स ओके so this brings us towards the end of this video so our next video will be about the mechanism of concentration of the urine which is very important we will also talk about the counter current mechanism in that video so stay tuned and see you with the next video till then keep study